Hi, welcome to Mr. Tech Pathy Tutorials. This is part 10 of Linux device drivers. Today, we are going to discuss about module parameters in Linux device drivers. In this session, we will learn about four topics. The first one is about what are module parameters. Second one is ways to change these module parameters. The third one is about module underscore param macro. Fourth one is array module parameters. Coming to our first topic, what are module parameters? Today we are going to discuss about this powerful parameters which are useful to change the behavior of our driver from system to system. Many kernel programmers know about these module parameters, but very few realize the power of them. So what are these module parameters? If you are a C programmer or familiar with C language, you might have heard about command line arguments. These module parameters are similar to command line arguments while dealing with Linux kernel modules. Module parameters are the parameters which are assigned at the load time by ins mode and mode probe. We'll see how ins mode is used for assigning these module parameters in upcoming slides. Let's see what are the ways to change the module parameters. There are two ways to pass these parameters to your Linux kernel module. One is using ins mode or mode probe. The second one is reading parameter assigned from the configuration file. Let's come back to the first one. So the first one, when you want to pass any parameter to your Linux kernel module, you use this command called ins mode base module.cable. If you are not familiar with ins mode command, I recommend to watch my earlier tutorials on Linux device drivers. So coming to this command, it is ins mode module.cable space with optional parameters. These are the optional parameters. Let's say if you pass a module parameter, say module parameter one with the value of value one, then whenever you are referring module parameter one in your program, will consider the value which is passed through this command. Similarly, you can pass n number of commands like module two or module three. The second one is reading parameter assignment from the configuration file. Whenever you are using a more probe, either you can pass that as a parameter to it, like the first command, or you can add those parameters in more probe.config file. So whenever you execute more probe command, it will first try to read these parameters from more probe.conf and will pass those parameters to your Linux kernel module. In this session, we'll concentrate more on this first method using ins mode. This command accepts several types of values on the command line. As you can see here, there are various types of module parameters supported. One is bool, inverted bool, character pointer, integer, long, short, unsigned int, unsigned long, and unsigned short. At the end of this session, I'll give you a demo on module parameters by taking Hello World kernel module as an example. Then you'll clearly come to know what exactly I'm talking about module parameters here. Coming to module param underscore macro. Let's learn how the module must make module parameters available before ins mode tries to change them. So whenever you are trying to use these module parameters, make sure that your module which is going to use those module parameters should actually declare those variables as a part of your Linux kernel module. To make module parameters available, we need to use module underscore param macro, which is defined in module param dot h. Module param takes three parameters. One is name of the variable. The second one is its type. And the third one is the permission mask. So a permission mask to be used for an accompanying sysf entry. Definitions of these marks are found in linux slash stat dot h. Don't forget to include linux slash stat dot h when you're trying to use this module para macro. As a part of permission mask, we do have this s underscore irugo. Use this s underscore irugo for a parameter that can be read by the world but cannot be changed. You can also use s underscore iru0 or with s underscore iwusr which allows root to change these parameters. We'll not be discussing much about these parameters and I'll leave it to you to explore this in Google or in wiki pages. Let's discuss more on changing module parameters. This module underscore param macro should be placed outside of any function and is typically found near the head of the source file. If you want to use module underscore parameters, you need to use this module underscore param at the top of your source file, preferably after including all your header files. All module parameters should be given a default value. Ins mode changes the value only if it is explicitly told by the user. The module can check the for explicit parameters by testing parameters against their default values. Note that it is recommended not to make parameters writable unless you are prepared to detect the change and react accordingly. Coming to our final topic, array module parameters. We have discussed about module underscore param, so this is a bit advanced one where this allows array of values to be passed while in smoothing your kernel module. As a part of this array module parameter, we pass all these parameters with a comma separated list. For an example, just have a look at this module underscore param underscore array with a name, type, number and parameters where the first parameter is the parameters name. The second parameter is the data type of the elements of an array. 
The third argument is a pointer to the variable that will store the number of elements of the array by the user at module loading time. The third argument is a pointer to a variable that will store the number of elements of the array initialized by the user at module loading time. The fourth argument is the permission bits. The module loader refuses to accept more values than will fit in the array. So make sure not to pass more values while using these array module parameters. Here I am in my Linux virtual box. I have opened a terminal and I have logged in as a root user. So in order to demonstrate module parameters, I'll take hello world module again. So this is my hello world.c file. We have used this module in our earlier sessions as well. So I'll be adding few extra lines here. At the top of this source file, I'm adding module underscore parameters and a variable called how many and another variable called home. So since these are the two variables, we need to declare them accordingly. So I'll declare this home variable as a character pointer and initialize it to any string. And also I'll declare how many and initialize it to one. So the default value of whom is world and how many is one. Apart from this, in the hello init, we are going to run a loop to print the string which is pointed by this character pointer and we'll try to print the number of times it is called. So when you insmode this module, it should actually print hello the string name for whatever the number. Let's say if you pass 10, then it should display from 1 to 10. Now let's exit this program. I'm using the same make file which we have used earlier just for compiling. Let's compile this module. I'll issue a make command. Okay. Now we have our kernel object generated. Now let's type in smooth space hello world dot cable and I'm passing how many as, as value 10 and uh, whom as Mr. Techpati and I'll in smooth this. So it is successfully in smoothed without any issue. Now in order to check I'll type D message. So you have an output here. So it displays hello the string which is pointed by whom and for and the number from 0 to 9. Hope you understood the concept of module parameters here. Let me demonstrate about module array parameters or array module parameters. So for this array of module parameters, I'm using the same hello world.c file. I've modified a bit. I have added an array of integers and I've initialized them with all values zeros. And I have added module param underscore array. So this is the extra line which I have added. And this is the extra line which I have added. So here, as I said, this is the name of the array and the type and the org c which is a pointer to the number of parameters which we are passing and this is the permissions mask. Right here I am again running a loop from 0 to number of elements to print the values in the array. So this formula size of array by size of integer will give you the number of parameters the array holds. So now let's say if you insmode this module with the valid parameters then it should print hello Mr. Techpati for from 0 to 9 and it should again print the contents of array. Also, it should print the number of arguments it's received. So let's run this program. Make sure that you have already removed your kernel module if you are continuing in the same session. Try to use rm mode command and execute rm mode hello world.kvo. Since I have already removed it, it may complain saying that the hello world does not exist. Now let's build this module. Now your kvo is generated. So I'll type this command with hello world.kvo how many assigned to 10 and whom assigned to Mr. Techpati and my int array assigned to 10, 12 and 13. So I pressed enter. Our module is successfully in smoded without any issue. Now let me check the contents of D message. As expected, you can see that hello to Mr. Techpati is printed from 0 to 9 times. The module array parameters we have passed as 10, 12 and 13 are printed. We have also successfully printed the number of arguments which are passed. Here we have passed 10, 12 and 13 which are 3 numbers. The received arguments is printed as 3 arguments. Hope you understood module array parameters in this session. Remember, Mr. Techpath Tutorials is all about inspiring others to learn and share their knowledge. Let's learn, share and make this world a better place to live. Thanks for watching Mr. Techpath Tutorials. If you like this video, please subscribe this channel for more videos. Also, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Thank you.